everyone, it's Cindy. Today I'm going to show you how to make a mini pineapple tea light holder using one of our Stampin' Up! Tiny Treat Boxes. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make this project. We're going to start with a 2x6 piece of So Saffron cardstock. I'm going to use my stylus from my Take Your Pick tool and score it at 2 inches and 4 inches. These boxes come flat and they have a plastic cover so you need to peel that off. And then I'm going to just fold it on the already scored lines, taking the largest flap, I'm going to tuck it in. Then I'm going to tuck in the two side flaps, and then finally this final one here, and that will, uh, is how quick it is to assemble this box, so fast. Then I'm going to grab my So Saffron piece of cardstock, and then I'm going to take it, and then lift up my box, and we'll tuck this inside so that it looks like this. And it goes from the front of the box to the back of the box where the lid is. For the next step, we're going to die cut a pineapple. So we have these gorgeous in the tropic dies. You have the base of the pineapple and so saffron and the crown of the pineapple and garden green. Now I'm going to use my foam mat and this comes with the brush tip that you can add to your take your pick tool. Of course, your take your pick tool also comes with a piercing tool you can add as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just brush this on the foam mat and by brushing it, it will just help the cardstock to pop out of that die. And this die is really fun because it has these little pieces that you can pop out. Now this one is way more intricate, so this is going to take a little bit more work, but I'm going to brush it in different directions. And then once you've got most of it poked out, you can see that there's still a few little pieces in there, so I'm going to brush it a little bit more. And then because this is so intricate, you might need to go back with your tool and kind of just poke out a little bit more with the, the piercing tool. And then to get it out of the die, just stick the tool through one of the little tiny holes that's on the front of the die, and that will help to get the cardstock out. Okay, so then once you've die cut that pineapple shape, you're going to go ahead and do that a second time. So now you have two of them, and you'll need two of the crowns as well. Okay, so now we're ready to add this to our box. So I'm going to use some mini glue dots, and I'm going to press just a couple of glue dots right on the very bottom of that um, crown of the pineapple. And then I will take my box, and I want to put this at the very top edge of the box like so. And you want to put this on the clear side, um, not the side where the cardstock is covering the box. So I'm going to do that on both sides. So to add the base of the pineapple, I'm going to use glue dots. I'm going to try to place these um, in strategic places on the pineapple so they'll kind of get hidden underneath the cardstock. Now when you're putting these on, you want to be very careful because it is very um, easy to tear this paper because it's so delicate. And, um, but then I'm, once I have the four glue dots on the back, I'm just going to press that on the side of my clear box. And you want to make sure that it lines up with the bottom of the box. And then I'm going to go ahead and add glue dots to the um, other pineapple. And you'll see I'm kind of pressing it down and twisting it. That sort of helps to lift the glue dots off of the roll. So press, twist, and that'll pull it off a little bit easier. You see? Okay. Now once I have all my glue dots on the back of the pineapple, I'm going to flip it over and we'll put this one on the back. All right, the next step is to add some flowers. So I'm gonna punch out two flowers with a grapefruit grove cardstock, and this is the small blooms punch that was available during celebration, but this is now going to be in our new catalog. Once I have the flowers adhered with a dimensional, the last step is going to be to add one of our gorgeous champagne rhinestones. So I'm gonna put one of these on each side and that's it. So now that's done. So now this is a cute little box that you could put candy or a treat in, but we're going to go ahead and add a blinking tea light to it. Now when you make this box, you have a couple of options. You can close it like the sample that I demonstrated, or you can cut off the lid completely, and then when you put your pineapple on, leave the flaps of the box up, and you can use them to hold the pineapple crown, and then go ahead and add the base of the pineapple to the side of the box. So that's just another way that you can add it on there. It'll give it a little bit more support, but your box will be open on the top. And of course, if you're using a tea light and this is just going to be on a desk, then that would work fine too. Now remember, just a battery operated tea light. Don't put an actual candle in these because with the plastic and the paper, that would be a fire hazard. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this project. The In the Tropic dies are just gorgeous. And you know me, I love pineapples. So I really love these dies and I know I'll be using them on many more projects. Thanks so much for watching. Aloha.